Okay, we're going to have a look at this probability question. We've got a bag containing five blue balls and four red balls. A ball is picked, replaced, then a second ball is picked. What's the probability of picking at least one red ball? Now, with any probability question like this, I suggest drawing a tree diagram. Now, you may or may not get marks for this depending on the question, but it can really help to help you understand what's going on. So our first pick, we can take blue or we can take red. And then our second pick, having picked blue, we can take another blue or a red. And then having picked red, we can take blue or we can pick red. Now our probabilities go here. Now to start with, we've got five blue balls. So we've got five blue balls out of nine altogether. So the probability of picking the first blue is five ninths. The probability of picking red, we've got four red balls out of nine altogether. So the probability of the first red is four ninths. Now in this question, the ball's replaced. So that means it goes back in the bag. So once we've picked this first blue ball, We've still got five blue balls because the first one's gone back. So it's five ninths. And we've still got four red balls, so it's four ninths. Having picked a red ball here, we've still got five blue balls, that's five ninths. And we've still got four red balls, that's four ninths. Now if we want at least one red ball, that leaves us with three options. We can pick blue then red, so we can look along this branch. We can pick red, then blue, so along this branch. Or we can pick red and red, because at least one red ball means that you can pick one or two red balls. So we're interested in this branch, this branch, and this branch. Now, if I want the probability of blue and red, We've got to remember that AND in probability means that we multiply probabilities. So that's going to be looking along this branch here. So it's going to be 5 ninths times 4 ninths. That's so going to be 20 over 81. And you can write that at the end of the branch. That might be useful. So at the end of this branch, that'll be 20 out of 81. Now, this branch here, red, then blue, we have to include that one. So again, that's going to be 4 ninths times 5 ninths. So 4 times 5 is 20. 9 times 9 is 81. And then we've also got this branch here, which is 4 ninths times 4 ninths. So 4 times 4 is 16, divided by 9 times 9, which is 81. Now we've got three ways here. We've got this one or this one, or this one. Now we've got to remember that in probability, or, we need to add our probabilities. So that means to get our final answer, we'll do 20 over 81, plus 20 over 81, plus 16 over 81, which is going to be 56 over 81. As an alternative method for this question, what we could have done is just had a look at this branch. So a different method would be to say, well, the probability of picking at least one red ball is going to be 1 minus the probability of picking two blues. because we can have this option, this option, or this option that will pick us at least one red ball. So that'll be 1 minus, well, the probability of 2 blues is 5 ninths times 5 ninths. So that's 25 over 81. So again, that's going to give us 56 over 81. So two ways to tackle the same question. They both give us the same answer of 56 over 81.